Shalom, all praises going on unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Kakudash, which means all praises to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh in the name of his son, whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. That was a, a Rakakudash means Holy Spirit. That was in the Hebrew language, all right? So it goes, call uh, Allah uh, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakudash. That means all praise. Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai and uh in the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles, that was in the Hebrew language. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. <laughs> so like yeah, a peace to the hopeful elect. Um I was reading uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. When you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, it's 68 verses, and uh the first 14 let you know the blessings that we'll receive from the Heavenly Father if we obey His statutes, laws, and commandments and serve Him. And uh, 15 on down to 68, let us know the consequence of that. <laughs> and uh, one of those consequences is uh, is disease. Now, I, uh, I get that scripture first. <laughs> mm. uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we'll start at uh, verse 21. So it says, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. Now, let's look up pestilence. It says, uh, the bar. It says pestilence, plague, moraine, cattle disease, cattle plague. Now, when you look up the word moraine in, um, uh, what is that? In me around medieval times, so to speak, it talked about, uh, Cattle plague or cattle death, you know, but the word literally translates un into death. That word moraine right there, it literally translates into death when I looked it up earlier. <laughs> uh, Strong's definition in the sense of destroying a pestilence, a plague. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to read verse 22. It says, The Lord shall smite thee with the consumption and with the fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. So that's verses 21 and 22. When you look up this word cleave, Salakia, that word cleave, in the Hebrew, it's, uh, what is that? Da, da, ba. Uh, the by the pop. Am I saying that right? Hold on, so like, let me see. The pac, the pac, with a Q. Uh, Hebrew was read from right to left at the top, where it says original. That last one that looked like a P, it it would be a Q sound. The pac. I got you know, <laughs> but it says uh, to clean stick, stay close. Keep close, to stick with, to follow closely, to overtake. Now, then we read, it shall over, overtake thee, <laughs> to cling, to be joined. So, basically, diseases is joined unto our people because of the, uh, because of the, uh, <laughs> we disobeyed the Lord, all right? So, I'm going to get uh, Leviticus 26 and 16. And, um... And then I'll re get this uh, thing I was reading, this article, Web M uh, MD. It says, <laughs> it says, I'm going to start at 15 or uh, 14. Salakia. I'm going to start up. Uh, this is 26 and Leviticus 26 and 11. It says, and I will set my tabernacle among you. And my soul shall not abhor you. So the spirit of the Lord was amongst um, the children of Israel, which makes up the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today. Today, It says, and I will walk among you and will be your God, and ye shall be my people. It says, I am Yahweh, your power, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen. And I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, because our people despise 
the statutes of the Lord. Let me look up that uh, word despise. Uh, ma. Ma. -a, ma. Ma. As. Ma. As. To reject. To refuse. To spurn. To cast away. To despise. To disdain. To, to loathe. Okay? <laughs> because... These statutes and laws and commandments that the Lord has given us is our life. On, 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 it's twofold. Now, I'll read this. Uh, Deuteronomy 8 and 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Now, if we don't execute the statutes, laws, and commandments in truth and sincerity <laughs> properly, then our death... Uh, that's our death, because why? The Lord told us that would be the punishment for that. All right? Because the, 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 the disobeying the statutes and laws and commandments is sin. And sin, what? The wages of sin is death. So when you read Wisdom of Solomon, the 15th chapter, it says, For if we sin, we are thine, knowing thy power. So if we sin, if we break the statutes, laws, and commandments, we know that we fall into the hands of the Lord to be put to death. But we will not sin knowing that we are counted thine. <laughs> All right? So that's, that's, that's one way you die. Okay? And then the second way you die is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Uh, verse 5, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Because when you read the statutes and laws and commandments of the Lord, it's it's perfect, it's it's perfect wisdom. Okay? It's uh it's knowledge. First Samuel 2 and uh, 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord, for Yahweh, is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. So the Lord imparted his, his, his wisdom unto us to execute that we may live. That we may live on, uh, like I said, it's twofold. That death, that death is uh, dying from the Lord. All right, because the Lord told you that it was death. And then that, that other death is you killing yourself, like like uh, the uh, the consequence pork. Like the Lord told you not to eat pork, but uh, pork uh, has so many negative effects on the body. All right, we ain't supposed to be smoking cigarettes, but smoking cigarettes you have so many negative effects on the body. <laughs> so you killing yourself spiritually <laughs> by disobeying the Lord, and you killing yourself physically. By 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 disrespecting you, you 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 still disobeying the Lord and you disrespecting your body, cause He told you how to properly maintain and and take care of yourself through the scriptures. <laughs> so going back to uh, Leviticus chapter uh, twenty six, it says uh, <laughs> verse fifteen, and if you shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments. So that you will not do all my commandments, but that you break my covenant. I will all I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror. Terror. Bahala. Dismay, sudden terror, ruin, alarm, panic, destruction. Right? Consumption. Uh shaka path. So like let me see what that say in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew, from right to left, reading from the original, it would be Sha. Sha. Ka. Pa. Sha. Ka. Pa. Sha. Ka. Pa. Da. Sha. Ka. Pa. Consumption, a wasted disease, wasting disease of the lungs, emaciation. You know, you uh, people be getting those diseases and they be shrinking. They call it emaciated. <laughs> All right. Oh, it says, uh, and the burning og, or egg, uh, qua, 
Quada. Quada. What is that? Salakia. Uh, quada ma. Quad I'm just I'm trying to practice and work on my Hebrew because we Hebrew Israelites and Hebrew Israelites speak Hebrew. So uh I'm just trying to do that. Quad cough fever, inflammation, cause uh inflammation, a lot of people, uh, our people suffer a lot of inflammation, a lot of different parts of their body or muscles and joints be inflamed and things of that nature our people have arthritis etc it says that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart and ye shall sow your seed in vain for your enemies shall eat it now I got a I got this article as I was reading these scriptures and you know going going through precepts of, uh, about uh, our people being under such such disease and such uh, pestilence I just googled uh what nationality has the most diseases? So this is a report close to 15 years ago. Uh, it says WebMD. So I, I, you know, clicked on it or whatever. It says, uh, it says healthcare disparities, heightened disease differences between African Americans and white Americans. Well, yes and no, because although in, um, in so-called, uh, African American, so called African American neighborhoods, the health care is lower, the uh, education is lower. But the Lord have given us medicines out of earth to live. So just because we not afforded the treatment at a higher level as uh, the so called white patients, that's not the main cause of uh, our people being sick. Because you, you so called white people are doctors, and the word doctor means to falsify. So you don't, you don't heal. You don't heal uh, these diseases. You don't heal these people's cancers and these people's uh, diabetes and these people's arthritis. What you do is you, you, you ease the pain so the people can, can maintain it a little, a little better. <laughs> so that's not it. It says several daily diseases strike black Americans harder and more often than they do white Americans. Fighting back means genetic research. Now... It, I, I, before I get the scripture, I'll read this. It means changing the system for testing new drugs. It means improving health education. Now, if you want to improve health education, all you got to do is go to the scriptures. Salakia. Uh, if you want to improve... Uh, matter of fact, let me put my phone on... Uh, on uh, airplane mode real quick. But if you want to improve health care, all you got to do is go to the scriptures. And uh, like the scripture says, the Lord have made it medicines out of the earth and he that is wise will not abhor them. So all you got to do is, uh, yeah, you know what, whatever, man. All you got to do is uh, understand the, uh, the, the, the herbs. And that's what in America, that's what they used to teach so many years ago, early 1900s, late 1800s. But then Rockefeller funded them, funded these colleges, uh, these, uh, these uh, medical schools, so they can move away from studying the herbs. All right, so it says, uh, oh, yeah, the scripture I want, it says fighting back means genetic research. Well, Esau's genetic research already have proven that, uh, proven that uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, which are the Israelites, are stronger uh, than than predominantly the so-called white men. All these other nations, but they was comparing um, a so-called black child to a so-called white child, and they was telling you how uh, so-called well, what I saw, so-called white babies, it took them months to get on the to be on the same level in strength as a so-called black baby that was weeks old. So. 
when you read uh, Genesis chapter 25, verse 23, it says, And the Lord and Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And those two nations is the nation of Israel and the nation of Esau, the nation of Edom. The nation of Israel makes up the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the nation of Esau, Edom, makes up the so-called white people today. All right? And two men of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elders shall serve the youngest. So the people that's stronger is going to be born last. So when you read, and when her days to be, to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. So that's a, 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 a characteristic or a describing trait of the so-called white people. The Bible calls them red all over like a hairy garment. Uh, they even got terms such as redneck. All right, they they uh, what do they call it when they in the sun too long? They burn. What they look red, or they or uh, they get nervous. What they call it? They flushed with red. You know. <clears throat> so and after that, his brother, his brother, and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. And Jacob's skin color was not described because the, the majority of the world is of color. So it was normal for him to come out of color, dark skin. But here you have the, the, the beginning of the, of the white race, of the so-called white race in this scripture. All right. So the Bible said uh, one people. Uh, and the one people shall be stronger than the other. OK. And your science proved. But see, and then you, you go on to say that the reason why black people are so strong in comparison is because we was in slavery. But you can't pass down. Strength is not passed down like that. We're just stronger as a people. We have uh, dominant genes. Now, you have people you have people that's basketball players, gym rats, and but that don't mean their kids automatically going to get it. Some of their kids come out fat and, and all unhealthy, too. So that's just some of the lies that they try to say. <laughs> but going back to it, it says, uh, it says, uh, it means investments targeted to the health of black Americans. And the evidence so far indicates that these investments, blah, blah, blah. All right. So it says diabetes is 60 percent more common in black Americans than in white Americans. Blacks are up to two and a half times more likely to suffer a limb amputation and up to 5.6 times more likely to suffer kidney disease than other people with diabetes. African Americans are three times more likely to die of asthma than white Americans. Deaths from lung scarring, sarcoidosis are 16 times more common among blacks than among whites. The disease recently killed former NFL star Reggie Wright at age 43. Despite lower tobacco exposure, so they saying uh, around this study that so-called black people are exposed to tobacco less than so-called whites. It says black men are 50% more likely than white men to get lung cancer. Strokes, and this was the main one of our people, strokes and heart attacks. Strokes kill four times more 35 to 54-year-old black Americans than white Americans. Blacks have nearly twice the first-time stroke risk of whites. Blacks develop high blood pressure early in life, and, I, and, I, and I'm a witness to that because I had a, a friend who was real sick in the hospital uh, when we were younger for high blood pressure. He was 14 years old. And with much high, I, I also got a cousin born with diabetes. And with much higher blood pressure levels than whites, nearly 42% of black men and more than 45% so like, and more than 45 of black women aged 20 and older have high blood pressure. Cancer, cancer treatment is equally successful for all races, yet black men have a 40% higher cancer death rate than white men. African American women have a 20% 20, 20 higher cancer death rate than white women so this was just to to prove what the bible said because <laughs> the bible says that our people are stronger than your people and your science says that our people are stronger than your people but the bible says we will be cursed with all these diseases and all these plagues and this consumption and in your in your study corroborate what the scripture said so this is just you know uh further proof that 
that you know on the on the on the on the negative side but like the scriptures say we under these curses because we we stopped following the lord as a whole you know but uh yeah these like i said these curses further prove that we the children of the lord man we the children of the lord even even uh because you people look at it like damn these the people of the lord these the people of god look at they horrible can condition that they in but hey we in this horrible horrible condition because we 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 stopped serving him you know we read it so i'm gonna um try to get this one last scripture so like you yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, this is Second uh, Chronicles chapter seven and fourteen. It said, "If my people, which are called by my name, that's the Israelites, shall humble themselves, and the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we call by the Lord's name." It says, "And pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land." So, and the Lord will heal us too. So basically, if we serve the Lord properly, he going to heal us. Now, around this, this go around, only the, only the elect is going is gonna to get it. But ultimately, uh, like the scripture says, uh, Israel shall be saved, man. Roughly prayer phrase, prayer phrase on Romans. So although it don't look, it don't, we don't look glorious and magnified and we not uplifted now, the Lord is going to uh, uplift us, man, sooner than later. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.